Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to do a partly NOLA book haul and partly I just accumulated books and have no self-control book haul. So I got a lot and let's just get started really quickly because this might be long. So I'm gonna first start off with the NOLA books that I got. First two things I got are kind of special things. I think they're super special because they're bound special and I like things that are weird and they're weird. They're, they're, they're weird. Anyway, they are copies of Connected and Torn by Kim Carr. I just, I love that they're like this and uh, you can't tell by the texture on it. Anyway, they're like, oh, I just love it. Oh, I really like how she has her reviews in the front. I don't know if it's that, that way in like the wildly printed books. I don't know, but yeah, I picked up these. Next, I got Behind His Eyes by Aletha Romick. It just, I was so excited about this book. I love the new matte covers and Aletha, I'm going to have to invest in all of those. She wa she says she watches my videos and her and her husband, so I feel like I'm talking to them. Otherwise, this is a little bit weird. Anyway, I like the matte ones too. I think they're both so pretty and... <gasps> That's so cool! Oh my god, they have like dice at the beginning of the... Oh my god! I love, I love, good job! Good, that is so well thought. Oh, I love this! I think the cover is one, awesome, because it ties everything together, and I just, oh wow, I just, you witnessed the me falling in love with, the, oh my, <sighs> I hate to finish Convicted so I can read this. This next book has just been highly recommended, especially through Goodreads. I get so many recommendations for this specific book, and so then when I saw like a poster thingy of it, I was just like, oh, that's the book that everyone says I need to read, and so what did I do? I went and I bought it, haha, <laughs> yeah, I did, and um, that is When It Rains by Lisa Dejong, and at first, I don't know why over the computer, I thought it was like this Egyptian thing. I was just like, historical Egyptian love story, what? And I never read the synopsis, but it's not at all what it is. And now that I actually see it, I like the cover more. But I don't really read the synopses just because I don't want to end up spoiling myself because there's always that certain level. And so I kind of just go off everybody's recommendation. Next book I picked up is Arson by Mia Asher. I cannot tell you how much I wanted to get my hands on this book. I think the cover is stunning. I, I actually have read the synopsis on this. I know, shocking, right? Right? But this sounds so interesting and it has crazy good ratings on Goodreads and it's kind of big, which is, da oh my God, it really is big. It's almost 500 pages. This is a little bit daunting now, but I just, I don't know what it is about this, but I've just been dying to get my little hands on it. And yes, little hands, because they actually are little. Like, look how tiny they are. Thank Flavit. All right, so I have more things that are from Liliana Hart that I didn't mention in my last video. So guess what? Surprise, it was stuck in a book, and you guys get to see it now, too. You should check out that video, because I went through all of my swag and stuff that I got there. So yeah, Whiskey Rebellion and Whiskey Sour, which I really like, and just, surprise. I love matte covers. I've decided I just, I love matte covers. They feel so nice. I remember back in... The, the early high school days. Wow, I was gonna say middle school and it would have made it better, but it's really not going to. It was like my freshman year of high school. I read the Evermore series, like Evermore, Night Star, something. I don't know, I never even finished the series. I got so frustrated, but it had this little patch of matte on it and I just fell in love with the way that it felt and I would just sit there in class and just feel that one spot, how it went from smooth to, anyway. So I've decided I like my covers and I have for a while. And anyway, getting to the point of the book, which is the Claire Contreras book that I picked up, There Is No Light and Darkness. I really like the covers for this. It's like this element of like photography, obviously. I mean, there's an element of photography on pretty much every cover, but you know what I mean. Um, it's very much a in the moment candid sort of shot and I think it's really pretty. I like it. And I've heard a lot of good things about this. I kind of just had that moment of, I've heard about this so much and I'm gonna end up buying it on Amazon. So why not just get it now? They were selling them for like 10 or $15. I'm like, I would probably be paying 20 something with shipping included, so just get it now, Hannah. That is all for the NOLA book haul part of it, and now I'm just gonna get into some books that I've accumulated recently. First, I'm starting off with The Art Forger by B.A. Shapiro. I have heard nothing about this. I was walking through Target with Corey, and we were in Ablers, and he didn't discourage me from buying it, but I think it's stunning. I think it's so stunning, and then I read the back of it, and I'm like, huh, huh, I must have it. It's about these Decaw paintings, and it might very well be that I'm in art history right now, and so I even more deeply appreciate art. I normally do. I'm a very big fan of art, and it, oh, I love Decaw stuff, and so, oh. But it's this thrilling novel about seeing and not seeing the secrets that lie beneath the canvas. That's just like a really short version of, but there's like this missing masterpiece, and 
just this thriller type thing and I'm just like this sounds like white collar and if I were you and I'm just like yes because I was talking about matte covers guys the matte a special a special the special collector's edition exclusive collector's edition ha huh? um uh, looking for Alaska by John Green I just got through watching him on this thing for Keenan College I think it's K-E-Y-N-T-O or something like that anyway and that was really fun I only got to watch the cap because it wouldn't stream right but I get to watch it later I'm sure um but I love this it was hard copy and I'm just like ah oh, I have to have it and it says I go to seek a great perhaps all throughout this front cover part and then on the back it says how will I ever get out of this labyrinth and I'm just I fell in love with it and even this part it has like his little like indented signature oh you can see it with the light and I'm just like, I'm never going to end up getting John Green's signature. If anyone ever gives me that, I will kiss them. Full on kiss you. Don't care who you are, it'll happen. Because I would die. I would die of happiness. Because he's John fucking Green. Come on. This next book I got is a collection of poems and it's kind of like the long cat of poems and I'm halfway, or not halfway, I'm like 20 something pages in this. I'm not loving it as much as I thought I would, but still it's impossible not to love Richard Sykin. This is Crush, I'm kind of covering the title here. But it's really thought provoking. It's so deep, you have to pay attention when you read this. It's not like mindless, well not like poetry is mindless, but like really easy, comprehendy kind of poems. This, you really have to read it. And every poem is a story, it's not just a poem and a short, anyway, it's hard to describe, but I got this too. So you know how J. Aaron Mersky didn't make the really big sized copy of The Edge of Always, I think because she got picked up by a publisher and that was like her like indie, anyway, so they don't have a cover, they don't, the books don't match up, okay? So I have that book which has been on the bottom part of my shelf which is not visible because I don't have it matching and it's bothering me and so what did I do? bought the same size copy of The Edge of Never so that I could set them next to each other even though this one's not signed. I hopefully will get to see her again and get them both signed. But yeah, so now I have two of these. This next one, Don't Gasp, I got it used because it was like $3 and I couldn't find it in any other bookstore and I think after I like unbin some of the pages it won't be so bad. But it is One Day by David Nichols. Um, the movie, I don't know why I had this really big thing against the movie. I haven't actually seen the movie. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna actually look up what it's about and it sounds so good. And so I picked it up because I wanted this cover, even though it's beaten up. Anyway, I don't have a problem with getting older books looking a little bit more used. Because I saw the movie Atonement, what did I have to do? I bought the book, I bought the book, and this is by Ian McEwan. I always wanna call him Ian Mc... Me the guy from Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I always wanna call him that because he did the motorcycle show and read those books and my dad was super into that anyway. I've heard his name 500 times, so I wanted to call him that. Anyway, um, I got this because I hated the movie. First time I half watched it and I stopped before the end, the end sold me. The end is what made the entire movie and I'm just like, must read the book because I loved it that much. And now I think knowing the end in this particular case would help me to like the books. And last but not least, this book that I picked up because the lovely Megan Hart, she's Megan Hart. You guys have know how much I love her. But I picked up Naked because I bought Stranger before and I thought for the longest time, every time I passed this book, oh, I already bought that. I'm like, wait, no, I didn't. So I picked this up because I have a huge Megan Hart collection going on here. Can't you tell? Can't you tell? Yeah. And I even just got approved on that galley to read Flying Early, which is so exciting. Yes, I am so excited for that book. You don't even know. And I'm probably going to read that right after I finish Convicted. Maybe not. I don't know. I never stick to things. That's why I try not to say, I'll be reading this next because then it doesn't happen and I feel bad. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I swear I will get Convicted up or at least finish reading it by the end of the month because I have it on Audible and I've been listening to it every time I'm walking to and from class and when I'm driving and stuff. So I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye.